okay the next one from calculus that is the limit part let p equals limit x approaching to 0 plus 1 plus tan square root x raised to the power 1 by 2 x then log p is equal to log p that is the natural log they are talking about so let us start this one p equals limit x approaching to 0 plus 1 plus tan square root x raised to the power 1 by 2 x. On substituting limit we can see it is approaching like 1 plus 0 raised to the power infinity form. So, simply it can be written as limit x approaching to 0 plus e raised to the power tan square root x divided by 2 x. We can write further this x as root x whole square so that we can read it tan root x by root x as 1. So, simply we are getting the result as e raised to the power half hence log p to the base e this comes half. This point is clear. So, we can see option 2 is the correct one. This is clear. Okay. Let us move to the next one that is 37th from complex numbers. A value of theta for which 2 plus 3 iota sin theta upon 1 minus 2 iota sin theta is purely imaginary is 4 options are given. So, this complex number is purely imaginary meaning the real part is 0. So, simply we can solve it as 2 plus 3 iota sin theta divided by 1 minus 2 iota sin theta. Let us multiply and divide by the conjugate of denominator. Is equal to purely imaginary number. This is purely imaginary. So, we can see that the real part must be 0. The real part is obtained as 2 minus 6 sin square theta equals 0 giving me sin square theta equals 1 by 3 or sin theta as plus minus root 3. Hence, we can see from the given options, options 3 is correct. Therefore, option 3 is correct. So, this point is clear. Okay, Let us move to the next one. Okay, Let us start with question number 38. The eccentricity of the hyperbola whose length of the lattice rectum is equal to 8 and the length of its conjugate axis is equal to the half of the distance between foci right is. So, what we have to find is the eccentricity of the hyperbola and some information is given. So, let us plan this one 2 b square by a say it is given to me 8 and 2 b is equal to half of twice a e that is simply a e. They are asking for the eccentricity which is given by e square equals 1 plus b square by a square. We can simply get it from this one as b by a equals e by 2. Substituting this value, we get e square equals 1 plus e square by 4 or 3 by 4 e square is 1 that is e is 2 by root 3. So, in this fashion we get the value for eccentricity direct as 2 by root 3. So, this point is clear. So, we can write here therefore, option 2 is correct. Right. So, let us move to the next one that is question number 39. 